So then I'm gonna go through the top five reasons why you can't hold a handstand. Number one, your body's not staying as one segment. Now, if my body stays as one segment, it's much easier to control the position. There's a great connection between my hands and my feet. It can be a funny shape, but if I stay as one piece, it's much easier to control. If I do the opposite and act like a big wet noodle and flop about and have this leg trying to do one thing and this leg trying to do something else, the shoulders, the hips, the back, the arms all being disconnected, we can't control the position and we're constantly trying to focus on lots of different things at the same time, it's impossible to hold. So that's where our body line positioning drills, like the hollow body holds come in to create that one piece, that one connection. The same thing when we're doing our chest to wall positions, locking that in and holding for time as one piece conditions the body to do the same thing when we're balancing the handstand. So when we go into our balance drills, so if I'm pulling away from the wall, if when I pull away from the wall, I don't create one segment, I just flop into a mess and I can't have any control. But if I stay as one, now if I push through my fingers, my heels come off the wall because I've got a connection between my hands and my feet. Number two, lack of conditioning. I basically can't stay here for any amount of time because I've got no strength. I haven't built up any time or conditioning to hold the position. So I can test that easily if I go chest to wall and hold this for time. How long can I hold in this position before my body starts to collapse? Can I stay here and have a conversation can I hang out in this position for 30 to 60 to 90 seconds and for it not to be too strenuous? If I can't do it for 30 seconds plus against the wall, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do it in a freestanding position. Number three, we're trying to use an unrealistic body line position. So most people, when they try and do a handstand or balance a handstand, they're aiming for this dead straight line. But in reality, their handstand should actually look more like this. We don't wanna force this position until we comfortably can hold and have conditioning and have enough room for error in our mobility to be able to hold comfortably with everything stacked mobility wise. So if I'm tight in my thoracic spine, it means I can't put my hands above my head without compensating somewhere else. So that's a great test. If you just stand up, straighten the legs, go into a posterior tilt, so glutes and abs on, so you have this one piece from your legs to your torso, then try and put your biceps by your ears, straighten the arms fully, push, and then try and look at your hands. Just feel how intense that is just to hold that position when you're on your feet, let alone on your hands when you're trying to balance. So especially when you're freestanding, you need to relax a little bit and find your efficient position that's comfortable for you to hold. So it might look a little bit more like this and less like that. This sort of position is gonna take six, nine, 12, 18 months or more to build upon. And if you can get into it, your balance is probably not as good as when you're slightly relaxed. Feel what it's like to walk around with really tall posture like this. It's super uncomfortable and it is a lot less stable than when you're more relaxed and have a little bend and room for error with your position. Number four, your balance window just isn't big enough. So my balance window is how much I can lean this way and how much I can lean this way without falling down. So I can do exactly the same in the handstand. So I can go towards under balance, so feet go that direction, and I can go towards over balance, so feet going that way, and I'm pushing in with my fingers to stop myself falling. So I have this window of balance. The bigger the window of balance is, the easier it is to catch the handstand and rebalance while I'm holding. My balance, oh Jesus. Because I practice handstands so much, my balance window is this big and I can move around inside of that. Most people when they start handstanding, their balance window is this big. Even if they have the best looking handstand in the world, as soon as they move a little bit like this, they fall in this direction or fall in that direction. So we wanna increase that balance window as big as possible and also just assess how big your window is. So how far can I pull away from the wall when my heels are on the wall when I'm back to wall? So I use the fingers to pull away. What's that distance like? How far can I go on and off the wall to my handstand? Can I do it when I'm here? This is gonna show the control I have between the handstand and the wall for my overbalance. And then I can do the same for my underbalance. And if you struggle to do this, 
to pull from the wall with control to the handstand, that's telling you that your balance window doesn't have much room for error and it's not very big in terms of the distance I can move side to side. So you need to get very good at doing the toe pull drill and the heel pull drill to open up and make that balance window bigger and bigger. And then number five, probably the most important one, just not enough practice. It's not normal, especially not normal for adults to be able to balance on their hands in a handstand. So this just takes lots and lots of time, lots and lots of sets, lots and lots of reps, lots and lots of days to learn and progress the skill. Now, most people will start off with like one or two sessions a week. Maybe they go to a handstand class, say twice a week, and they get a certain amount of progress. But then it's really common to hit a roadblock or just plateau out where you don't make any more progress. And the only real way of increasing that and stepping up to the next level is to increase the amount of volume you're doing. So how many sets and reps you're doing per session and then how many sessions you're doing. If you're serious about learning a handstand, you really want to be training four to six times per week or even a short daily session. If you want to learn more how to balance a handstand, check out this video. And if you're after coaching, check out my website, www.paultwyman.com.au. Stick any questions down below in the comments and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.